Hey, I'm Lauren from TastyPC.TV and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Noctua NH L9i CPU cooler. So this is a low profile cooler which has been designed for mini ITX and small form factor builds like home theater PCs. Um, now I was originally meant to do this video during the Christmas competition because I did give one of these away for a surprise. Um, so this video has been filmed out of sequence which is the reason why the cooler has already been fitted. So the video is a little bit all over the place so I do apologise for that but it probably will be the same for the next couple of videos that I do. Um, so in this video I'm going to take you through look around the cooler and then do some performance tests. So let's get started. Starting with the box, Noctua have packaged the NH L9i really beautifully. We've got a dear customer note and installation guide, a low noise adapter, four mounting screws, hidden beneath here some longer screws to be unmount a 25mm fan, um, a tube of NT H1 thermal paste, a really sexy metal sticker and the cooler itself. Looking at the cooler itself, I have to say I am really impressed with its quality. Now, I know these kind of coolers don't look all of that impressive on camera, um, but in person it does have quite a lot of weight to it, and up close you can see all of the design work that's gone into it. So the NF A9X14 fan, which is 92mm big, does have a lot of the features of the NF F12s, like the stepped inlet design, although this fan is only 14mm thick, and it's got these um, ridges around the blades which help increase efficiency while keeping the noise level down, and it's also got these rubber corners which help dampen vibrations. Um, it is a PWM fan for automatic speed control. So if I just put some specs on the screen, um, without the low noise adapter, this fan is quite a high RPM fan with 2,500 RPM, um, but it still remains quiet under 24 decibels. With the low noise adapter, it does a maximum of 1,800 RPM and just under 15 decibels. The NH L9i has a copper base and heat pipes and aluminium fins, and it's 95 by 95 millimeters, meaning that in a mini ITX system, you won't have any problems with the cooler blocking your memory or PCIe slots. And it is only 37 millimeters tall, which does make it shorter than an Intel stock cooler while having a higher fin density. To fit the NH L9i, all you do is place the cooler onto your CPU and then screw the four screws in behind the back of the motherboard to secure it into place. Now, on paper, this is very easy to do, but in practice, when there's stuff like thermal paste involved and your case is lying down, I imagine it could be quite tricky. Although, I'd think that if you're using something like a small ITX board and it hasn't been fitted in your case yet, it would be a lot easier to do. So, now I'm going to move on to some sound tests. Being honest, I am a little bit disappointed with the noise levels of the NH L9i. I mean, it wasn't overly loud, but I did notice that when running off of a low noise adapter, either off of a fan controller or directly off of the motherboard, it did make a slight ticking noise, which isn't something that I expected from a Noctua cooler. Um, but I did notice that for some reason this noise wasn't picked up in the sound test footage, but I can assure you it is there. So then moving on to the performance tests, I ran all the tests with my CPU at the standard 3.4GHz clock and I ran the NH L9i at full speed and then with a low noise adapter and I did the same with the Intel stock cooler for comparison. So then looking at my graph of the results, you can see that there is a noticeable temperature difference between the NH L9i and the stock cooler at full speed, but there isn't really a noticeable difference between the two when using the low noise adapter. But to be honest, I didn't expect to see massive temperature differences between the two at such a low clock, especially as they are both such small coolers. But I do feel like my test results may have been hindered slightly by my kind of test bench setup, as the Intel stock cooler's fin layout arm um, is designed to send airflow in all directions, whereas with the NH L9i, it does only really send the airflow in two directions. And as I don't have a mini ITX board, I did use the standard motherboard that I always use during tests, which is the Asus Maximus 5 Formula motherboard. Um, and this motherboard does have a very large restrictive heat sink, which the cooler was blowing air straight onto. Um, and I did notice that the hot air was trapped around the cooler for longer, which may have potentially altered my test results. Concluding my thoughts on the NH L9i, I was really impressed with its build quality and how well it was packaged, but I was quite disappointed by its performance to noise ratio when compared with the Intel stock cooler, although the NH L9i is quite a bit smaller. Um, in the end, the NH L9i was quite easy to fit. 
Um, so giving the cooler an award, I don't really think due to my current like test bench setup, it would be fair for me to give you the positive or negative feedback yet, as this cooler is has been designed for mini ITX and like small form factor builds. So I think that the performance results that I got aren't necessarily valid real world results. Um, but I am going to be doing a build using this cooler somewhere very soon, so I am going to wait until then um, to make my final decision on what award it should get. Um, but this is kind of my like initial review on the Noctua NH-L9i CPU cooler, so if you like this video hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching!